Today we go on a Blue Lagoon tour in Cyprus. Watch this video to the end so that you don't get scammed like we did. So it didn't start very well and we were all crammed onto this hot stuffy coach with an hour transfer each way. This is the boat that we paid for. This is the boat we should have got, but instead we got this one here. Not only did we get put on the wrong boat, but we also didn't even make it to the Blue Lagoon. There was no slide, no canoes, no welcome drink, and the fruit platter was such a disappointment. Anyway, first things first, me and Hunter went to explore the boat. It had three levels and it had a bar on the ground floor. There was lots of sun loungers on board, but not many people were actually sunbathing, so it was just a real waste of space. They should get rid of these and put some chairs so that more people have got room to move around. We booked this boat trip with Tui from our hotel reception and it cost £39 per person. The ground floor level was modern and contemporary, with a bar and lots of seating. It also had male and female toilets. This boat is called Sea Star by Paphos Boat Tours. Because the boat was so big and it had three layers, the kids were running off and we could never find them. We were just chasing each other round and round. Finally, I found her. There are many different options to choose from. Depending on your budget and preferences, you can book a half day trip, a full day trip, a private yacht charter, or even a combination tour with a four x four safari. You know, the Blue Lagoon is one of the most popular attractions in Cyprus, and I can see why. This secluded bay is located in a protected area of natural beauty and biodiversity. The Blue Lagoon is famous for its warm and calm waters, which is ideal for swimming, snorkeling and relaxing. And of course, turquoise waters. You know what, there was no music on board, no atmosphere. All the other guests on board were really, really grumpy and there was a really noisy lady with this rustly bag. Dog story. For kids and people that don't really want to sunbathe, it was just really boring. While there were nice views, we're boat people. We've boated quite a lot. These views are just pretty normal to us now. I suppose this area at the back of the boat would be quite nice if you had it all to yourself. I can imagine having a nice lunch here with friends. Anyway, we arrived at our first swim stop we didn't have turquoise waters, so we knew it wasn't the Blue Lagoon. Plus, the brochure said that we were at Aphrodite's bar. It's the only way. We were having a discussion about which is the best way to go in, whether you go in quick or do it slowly. The back of the boat was so busy with people queuing to get in the water because even though there was quite a large area at the back, there was only two swim ladders. I was also really surprised that they didn't give any life jackets to the kids. You had to go and ask for them. They found a couple scratting around in the back. That's my girl. Honey, go. Show him wherever you are. There you go. There you go. Yay! Swim around now when you get warm. Hold on. Look at me. Hey, what? Ready? Ready? Go. Are you going to help? Are you going in? I am. Wrong way to do it, mommy. <laughs> Okay, so it was only this last bit that felt a bit cold. At this point, because we weren't in the turquoise waters, we didn't actually think that we were in the Blue Lagoon. We thought we were at Aphrodite's Baths. But actually, we only had one stop when we should have had two. The boat driver didn't go anywhere close to the Blue Lagoon. We were miles away.
blue lagoon with the beautiful crystal clear waters was just over there. We just didn't quite make it. Wait for mommy. Oh, come on. It's only a lot higher. Oh, you're in trouble now. Baby Navy really didn't like it in there. At this point we could be jumping down the slide, canoeing, snorkeling, but none of that happened. And at this point we thought we were going to go on to the Blue Lagoon. Oh, how wrong we were. So I went and sat on the back of the boat and I watched all the other boats jumping down their slides into their crystal clear turquoise water, snorkeling, canoeing, basically all the stuff that we should have had. But it did give me some time to reflect and have a little think about how I was going to complain to our tour operator. So we didn't get our turquoise waters, we didn't get our slide, we didn't get lots of other various things on our trip and then suddenly we found ourselves docking back at Latchy Harbour. Boo! But before we got off it was time for our welcome drink. Yes, that's right, they give you the drink when you leave. So here it is, two inches of juice and our fruit platter. A few manky old bananas. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, not great. Here you go. So we booked a tour with you yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was a completely different boat. Was um, it? Yeah, it wasn't the um, ocean blue. It was a really cheap looking, dirty boat with sea star or something. Um, it didn't have the slide, which is why I booked it. No. It was it also didn't have the canoes. It was just a completely different boat. And you were popped on. Yeah, so we. So you were popped on that yeah, one? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we had this one instead. Because this one, as you can see, is a lot more modern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also the route as well. So mm -hmm. so the route here, Lachin Harbour, Aphrodite's Bar, Blue Lagoon, and Lachin Harbour, we were under the impression that it was stopped at Aphrodite's Bar as well as the Blue Lagoon. Right. And it didn't. Okay, so yeah, I know that one does only have the one swim stop at Blue Lagoon. I know they just, uh, yeah. they just do a drive by after Daddy Bar. Which is fine if we understand that, but yeah. no one actually explained that on the tour. We got a partial refund from TUI for this trip. It wasn't their fault that we were put on the wrong boat. It wasn't their fault that we had no slide, no canoes, no welcome drink, and a really miserable fruit platter. This is what we should have had. This is what we booked with Tui. We didn't even go to the Blue Lagoon. We just came close to it. There's the Blue Lagoon. So if you're gonna book any excursions in Cyprus, make sure you double check your boat. Make sure it's the same one you've booked. Also, book with a tour operator you trust. So if anything goes wrong, you can get a refund. Don't forget to like and subscribe.